What would benefit masculine Asian guys more? To be like Chad's or Kevin Wins? And what are the main differences? We're going to explain. Bro, are you more with booted jade, 12 pel fades, comfortable with blades, not caring too much about grades? Are you more like working in Finn, taking Zin, striving for Yale, and acting like Christian Bale, an American psycho, bro? Ah. We got to talk about these two viral Reddit posts, Kevin Wins versus White Chad's. More Asian men need to pursue their passions. But long story short, you know, the discussion sort of went in circles, but the, the, the crux of it was, should Asian, would Asian guys be better off pursuing a Asian Clark Kent type of archetype or an Asian Kevin Wynn type of archetype? Right, and we're going to talk about this because these are the two main masculine archetypes that are known to make your life better or get with women or get women's attention um, on the internet. So we got to talk about like weigh the pros and cons and the differences between the two, because maybe you're closer to being a Chad Clark Kent, or you're closer to a Kevin Wynn. And David, right now, I'm not going to lie. We are dressed like Kevin wins. Right. So make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. We are missing the tattoos. Andrew, today's video was brought to you by the Kevin Wynn drink of choice. Uh, Hennessy XO. Yep. You know, uh, I'm just kidding. It was I feel like it's been shifting over the years. Uh, every, everybody, both the Chads and the Kevin Wins are drinking 1942 though, or, or costume, you know, whatever. Yeah. It depends on how much money you have. Anyways, it's sponsored by Smala Sauce. Check out Smala Sauce. But also we got the Henny. For anybody who's wondering what an ABB is, here's a video from Dragon Faced. My tutorial on the ABB look, all right? in my own regard. The most important thing that you need for this is tattoos. Right? My name is Dragon. I got the dragon wrapped around my arm. I got a turtle right here. Cover the tattoos, you know what I'm saying? The most important thing, now we gotta cover the second most important thing, which is the black tea. The good fellow in cold. This is from Target, the Lindale tea. You can buy the pack if you want to, if you wanna be frugal, but these are only $6, the Lindale tea. It's for dates, it's for going out to the Target, it's for getting boba, it's for going out to eat with your homeboys. Boom! Okay, man, real quick, Andrew, I, I think in 2024, some people are trying to be like part Chad, part Kevin Wynn. So let's just pop up some photos of more like people purely in the Chad category, right? Okay, so these are some celebrities that are what I would call pure Chads. Now, Kevin Kreider, you got Godfrey Gao, RIP, and you got Daniel Day Kim. Now, I would just say looks wise, they appear to be more Chad because they appear that they could have worked in finance. They look great in suits. They got a chiseled, clean cut face. There is some higher socioeconomic assumptions. These types of guys rise well up through the institutions, whether that's through college or corporate. Um, it is, I have to say, Chad, David, is more wasp adjacent. I'm not saying they all try to become like wasp, like white Anglo-Saxon uh, Protestants, but they are more adjacent to that world, right? Right, so it's more, I guess, the Asian version of that one song that's going around right now, EDM circles, that 6-5, Blue Eyes, Finance, or something, whatever right. that's. Oh, I'm, I'm looking for our finance, yeah, uh, yeah, six yeah. five with blue eyes. Yeah. I guess it's like the Asian version of that, although I do think there's some more blue collar versions, Tim Chung, is right. probably more of a Chad, but he's like a cop and he's a blue cop. You know right. what I mean? No, so I, I would say an Asian cop is, can be either or, but uh, yeah, probably anyways. A lot of guys are hybriding the two styles nowadays. Anyway, let's get to the Kevin Wynn, Andrew. This is more, uh, I guess there's been more memes about Kevin Wins, right? Yeah, I mean, you guys kind of know basically an Asian guy, no matter what type of Asian you are, but pro oftentimes Southeast Asian, uh, an Asian guy who works out, gets tattoos, particularly the ones that full up the, the sleeve or go down the entire right. arm, wears a lot of black t-shirts. Do know, you think lights. this archetype emanated from San Jose and the OC and 626? Yeah. So as Chads are more wasp adjacent, and adjacent I mean just like kind of like leaning in that direction. Or, or in wasp spaces or involved in organizations or, or colleges that wasps are even aware of. Yeah, Kevin Wins are definitely more Southeast Asian adjacent, 100%. I think if you are a Kevin Wynn, even if you're actually Kevin Chin or Kevin Kim, you have some Southeast Asian friends or you've dated Southeast Asian women for sure. Right. And you when you talk about the big four, you might be talking about the big four Asian gangs instead of uh, the big four financial institutions. Hey, man, Kevin Wynn's, <laughs> Kevin Wynn's got all types of it's jobs. It's just a look nowadays, guys. You know, now the Asian gang days are not at its peak. Anyway, here are four points about being Kevin Wynn's, Andrew. Um, are these essentially the two archetypes? Point number one, because some people are going to say, well, what about K-pop maxing? That's been something that's have been heavily discussed. Is K has K-pop maxing been left out of this dichotomy? Yeah, so K-pop, the K the BTS look would be neither nor, or, right? The Chad or the Kevin Wynn, but I would say that those looks only work in an area with a lot of Asians. Like, like LA, New York only, right? Yeah. 
Um, would you say that Jungkook, though, Jungkook, I feel like he, Kevin, winded out lately with the full tats. Um, sort of. Yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. Fit, fit, fit. I do think that, like you said, could you just be born into one or another? Like, you know how this internet guy is asking, what should I become? But sometimes you're born so deep in the Chad lane. Maybe your dad was like a high-powered business mogul from Asia. You're like in the Chad lane. You went to boarding school, private school. Or if you're from like um, like an Asian hood, you're almost for sure born into the Kevin Wynn lane. Well, right? what if you're middle class and, and you kind of have an option, like you're college educated, you're kind of tall, you, you like to work out, you could be, could lean into your Chad mode, you know, and try to operate in that world, or you could lean into Kevin Wynn. Like we're, that's, that's the person that I feel like we're talking to in this video. You're saying somebody more malleable. Point number two, Andrew, it's true that these two looks appeal to different crowds. Yes or no? Yes. Obviously the different, what, who likes the Chads? Well, I mean, Chad's, I would say uh, they can get uh, like the corporate girlies and even like non-Asian women do like the Chad's, but you're also competing with white Chad's in that world. Like there is no fully Asian Chad world. Like the right. Kevin Wynn kind of AZN world is much larger in my opinion than a solely Asian based Chad world. There are some Asian Chad kind of circles that I've seen around New York city. And like, you know, there's a lot of finance guys out here and, and yeah. You know where the Asian Chad circle is a fully fleshed ecosystem though? In Asia. Cause mm. you see all these Asian Chads living that way in Hong Kong and Singapore and like places like that. Right. But you're right in America, the AZN Asian quote, quote unquote, I'm using the 1930s verbiage of this word, night Asian ghetto King is way more of a fully fleshed ecosystem. Mm -hmm. um, I also will say this, Andrew. I believe nurses are the good, one of the good job girls that more go with Kevin wins than the Chads. Yeah, but I guess yeah, nurses guys, be with the Kevin wins. Nowadays, man, there is some blending and I've seen some corporate girlies who might have, have some ABG side that end up with Kevin wins or they like corporate guys with a little Kevin win edge. So you have to understand Kevin win this aesthetic, the ABB aesthetic, Asian baby boy aesthetic is now being used as like a uh, cherry on top. I would yes, say. Yes. Yes. I would say that a lot of guys who are chasing the wasp adjacent Christian Bale and American psycho Chad aesthetic are starting to shift more towards Kevin win. Because like you said, even a lot of the corporate girlies that like the white adjacent uh, wasp adjacent lifestyle, boat shoes, Vineyard Vines, they're just going to go straight for white guys and skip the Asian version. Mm -hmm. uh, point number three, Andrew, for 90% of Asian guys, the Kevin Wynn look is probably way more achievable if you try hard. Agree? Disagree? Yeah. Is it because, like, I just think that it's almost like there's some sort of socioeconomic class, like height, like thing required to be an Asian Chad? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think... Honestly, the Asian chat is not as much a height thing. I think it's, in my opinion, in, in my definition, is a socioeconomic and a jawline thing. <laughs> I think you do have to have a jawline. So not everybody's born with a jawline. You can work out your jaw. You can do this. No, you have you to have a very weight. sculpted face. Yeah, yeah. Like, usually there is a connotation that you have a sculpted face to be a Chad. Now, uh, at least you need a jawline is what I mean. I think it's just the jawline. So anyways, if you are not born with a jawline, in my opinion, I think in the Kevin Wynn space and the AZN space, they're more forgiving of the guys with no jawlines because it's more about being kind of like a bad boy, badass, full sleeve tattoo, kind of like, you know, dude like that. Right, right, right. I think point number four, Andrew, a lot of guys are switching over from the Clark Kent path to the Kevin Wynn lifestyle because they're realizing you don't rank as high in the Clark Kent path. Like if you're Asian Clark Kent, you're always playing B or C side to white Clark Kent. No, but in the yeah. Kevin Wynn world, you could be the king of that, or yeah. like at least you're competing in a a more enclosed ecosystem. No, it is true that uh, you're always going to be playing second fiddle, even if you're a top tier Asian Chad. In the larger white Chad world, you're still not going to rank number one. You'll never rank number one, to be honest. So maybe in Asia. Yeah, in Asia, yeah. If you can speak both languages or you're an international kid, yes. You yes. get the expat then, salary in the expat zone, mid-levels, blah, 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 blah. Even then, I don't know. There might be too many white dudes. There are exceptions. I do agree. But in general, you're not going to be number one. So, um, But I don't think it's so easy that just like, oh, well, I don't really like pursuing this Chad lane, so I'm just going to switch to be a Kevin Wynn guy. I don't think it's that easy because I don't, I don't want to like give it – you know, I, I don't want to say that being that everybody can be a Kevin Wynn authentically, but it is true that Kevin Wynn, there is a clear aesthetic package to get. 
And it's get buff and get the full sleeve tattoo. I think once you get past the bottom tier Ivies, no disrespect, I didn't get into an Ivy League school, but once you get past U Cornell and U Penn, those guys can more go with the state school Kevin Wynn look. But once you get to like Yale and Harvard, they almost have no choice but to go the Chad Lane. Wait, are you Because it's, it's too like elite Illuminati like to go to the ABB Dave, life. You're like, saying that this is more like state school Kevin Wynn and then this would be maybe like a UC or like a, um, I don't know, Ivy League. I don't know that Ivy League, Kevin Wins is on track this. Maybe not. Right, right, right. Um, but I, I think that the Chad life is all about like rare wines nowadays. Oh, um, anyway, let's just get into the comments section. Um, somebody was saying, how come Asian guys have to be an elite Kevin Wynn or an elite Clark Kent, uh, let's just call him Park Kent, at all, when it seems like white guys who are super out of shape can still get a hot Asian girl? Uh, I don't know, guys. There's so many dynamics at play in here. Well, I mean, well, how long do you want this video to be? I I'll say this. You can't, there's some, there is some truth to that statement, but you just can't even think about that because you got to be at the gym. Trust me, if you're a high-tier <laughs> version of anything, you got some options nowadays, all right? I, don't I, I would compare it to Fred Van Fleet. If you see this interview that Fred Van Fleet gave about being a six-foot-tall NBA player, he basically was like, dude, as a six foot tall NBA player, you got to basically be perfect to get what I got out of my career. Mm. Like you have to be like the perfect player. Um, some people were still arguing about classism, Andrew. In Australia, this guy was saying the Kevin wins, they got to stay in the Asian ghettos, whereas the white chads, I mean, the, the Asian chads, they're more like part of the mainstream. And you know what I think is interesting is that I do think Australia, Canada, and America do have similar social dynamics, but I do think that America is different. I think being the Kevin Wynn archetype in America, more guys are logically going to shift towards that than even in Australia where the preppy boat shoes look might be even like, it might be more 50-50. Yeah, I think certain circles of Australia work more like Britain. Uh, more our, European, Australia right? is kind of like in between a Britain and America where America, if you are Ivy League or you went to Harvard, you I don't even care what family you come from if you get tattoos in america and you work out that is already a better start to living a fun life now there will be some families or women who look down on that or like oh, i don't want a guy with more tattoos. classist right more. but it's not as classist in america i really don't think so especially if you're thinking about just having a fun life yeah and what i mean is a fun life is like just a fun life and by the way guys we're just drawing the large generalization that europe and england more classy america more trashy flashy we're just talking about what works. I'm not right. talking about the morality and being this way or that way. Um, this guy said that after he got his PhD with his friend, his friend decided to not work in industry like the other PhDs, but he literally just started investing, getting tattoos, and spent all his time at the gym because he felt like becoming living the PhD life didn't give him the dopamine that he wanted. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I see this a lot. And honestly, in America, guys, like I said, you could get the PhD, make your parents proud, being scholastic, being like Confucius. But at the end of the day, we're talking about what your lifestyle fishbowl is going to be like in your day-to-day -day Google calendar is going to be like in America. Mm -hmm. um, this Cambodian guy, Andrew, he said, yo, SGV here. What about me? And then someone said, uh, basically hit him up and was like, hey, man, are you in a gang? Right. So he would fall under the Kevin Wynn. Aesthetic. Even if he's not in a gang, he is definitely more Kevin Wynn adjacent. He's almost moving into another tier from Kevin Wynn into the just straight, straight gangster look. But it's funny because he said he's not a gangster. Um, that, like I said, like there's a lot of people think that I, I'm just talking about two choices in the middle here: Asian Chad and like Kevin Wynn. There's like ones that are there's like archetypes that are even more on the fringes that we don't need to get into. Somebody said, I don't think it's about either being an ABB or being a white adjacent Chad. I think it's about just being not a gamer nerd. Oh, whoa. But this guy is a former gamer who said once he started lifting and being more social and started boxing and stuff that it changed his life. Do you agree with that? Or do you feel like, no, you do need one of the archetypes? So this was an argument against picking either. Uh, you know, archetypes don't define everything. It's just kind of like a look. We're just kind of talking about a vibe and a look. And I think that as long as, you know, it's kind of like how you tell someone to dress better. Like if someone has chronically like bad clothes in their closet 
in the the only way you can get them to dress better actually is not to coach them every day on what to wear. It's to delete all the whack clothes out of their closet and only put decent clothes in there because most people are going to pick up what's in their closet and somehow make a quick one minute mix and match decision. On most that. guys at least. Yeah, they're that's not, most, they're not that's most yeah. guys. So the key is to take out what you don't want. And what this guy is saying is just, Hey guys, uh, listen, if you're a huge gamer nerd and you're a shut in, that is going to affect your life more than whatever. It don't even matter to the decision. And I agree that it's not going to matter what this gamer at home. That's like totally antisocial and has no muscle tone and has never thought about this and doesn't have a job. It's like, no matter what archetype he picks in his mind, it doesn't really matter. The easiest would be Kevin Wynn technically to him, but it really doesn't matter because he needs to get out of that hole first. Right. I think that sometimes the Asian gamers suffer from uh, two issues. I'll say this. One is they look at Chad Asian gamers in Asia that still get like a lot of like love from girls and like have these crazy active social lives. America just doesn't work like South Korea. You can't be like, yeah, I'm in America. I'm going to be the equivalent of like that one, those like 10 Chad gamers in South Korea that game all day and still get all the girls. America don't work like that. And number two, I think for the guys who are like, man, I can't adopt the Kevin Wynn style because that's too gangster. I can't adopt this white Chad Asian style because that's like too white and waspy in Connecticut and Massachusetts and I don't lack those influences. Just go with Lululemon or Zara. That's like in the middle, you know, but it's still going to look good. Um, last point was... This guy said, hey, man, anyways, this, he was asking Dragon Face, any tips on going to be the ABB route without getting tattooed? I don't want to get disowned. He answered, no, bro, not the subculture for you. It's crucial. Wait till you move out with roommates then. What do you think? Yeah, I think that a lot of guys want all the ABB credit and the, and the attention that ABBs or Kevin Wins get without going full on. And I know this because... I don't have a tattoo yet, but I know that if you want to go full on, that's part of the package, literally tattoos and get buff and a haircut and a slim shirt. That's the package you have to do. Everybody does it. You have to do it. The tat is almost the most crucial. Part. Yeah. And you can say, yeah, it's one of the most crucial. I would say it's top two. It's getting fit and getting the tattoo. It's really for the Kevin Wynn thing. So because the the tattoo says a lot. It basically says, hey, I went through pain and I paid for this marking to be on my skin forever to show what subculture I'm part of. Right. That's what it means and that's what it, it shows people. And doesn't it say you're opting out of the Confucian feudalism of that only bandits and, you know what yeah. I mean, degenerates? And, and, and it means and that my parents either are chill with this and they're like cool parents or I don't care what my parents think. That's what it says. Right. But then like people have to understand that most women in the West, they really like guys who signal that they don't care what their hyper-traditional hyper parents think. Yeah, like, yeah. unfortunately, I'm literally just stating a fact. Yeah, it's definitely more attractive if a guy is on his own and is his own person. He doesn't have to worry about what his dad thinks about his tattoos. I'm not saying get a full sleeve, all dark, all over. I'm just saying- I'm not saying go copy your favorite triad and imitate his Yakuza tats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But anyways-, anyways Listen, um, I think people are just responsive to what they see working in society. And whether it's fortunate or unfortunate, here's the harsh reality. Uh, and, and maybe it's not a harsh reality, depending on what type of family you come from. Downward assimilation works better in America than even Canada, New Zealand, or Australia. Mm. It just works. I don't know why it is. I didn't set it this way. You could look at P.T. Barnum and Bailey. You could look at the violent rebellion. I don't know what it is. There's like a trillion things you could look at in American history if you're like a historian. Downward assimilation works in America. Yeah. So, but I'm saying that that doesn't mean you got to be like in the streets. Yeah. But people just like the, a little street yeah, look. Just here. remember, guys, uh, people like some edge here in America. That's just basically what we're saying, you know. And if you're not uh, a tall jawline Chad who works a corporate job, uh, and you're not already like close to that. I'm not telling you to be a Kevin Wynn because I wouldn't. I'm, that's, I'm not saying that's my recommendation for everybody. Yeah, be a you, Lululemon fashion guy. Yeah, you, you just got to figure out where you're at in your life, man. There's a hybrid and a mixture all to have in between. You could be a little bit of a mix of everything. I, I would say a rising archetype that we didn't mention is the guy who feels like a Japanese fashionista but isn't Japanese. Like, you know what I mean? Imitating those guys. You see, you guys, see there's the, more, Tim Dusan, you see him. There's more archetypes out there. I get it. I get it. These We're are. Just, but these are two of the most 
masculine archetypes. Like these are poor, particularly very masculine archetypes. You got to get ripped for either of them. Yes, yes. These require working out. Being a fashion dude and a BTS yeah. K-pop guy does not. I just think looking at things through an imperialistic or a Confucian Overton window governing your like physical aesthetics is going to be, I don't recommend that. But I see a lot of people do it. I'm guilty of it myself. You can't help how you're raised. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comment section below. What are the nuances? Kevin Nguyen versus Park Kent, a.k.a. Asian Clark Kent, Whitey Jason, Wasp, but Jason. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. What are the pros and cons? What type of different types do girls do each appeal to? Does it just matter what you want out of life and what you can realistically pull off? Until next time, we the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.